Hey what's up guys this is me Rona and this is very exciting After Effects tutorial and today we're going to move Element 3D with audio. Let's have a look what we're going to create. Alright guys let's create this effect. Let's create a new composition and call it Element with audio. Now every setting look fine, click OK. Now drag your music to your timeline. All right, now create a solid control Y and call it element 3D, E3D element 3D. Now create another solid. I'm going to call it BG background and drop this below everything. I'm going to create another solid. I'm going to call it sound key. Now click OK. All right, I'm going to put below to the Alma 3D layer. Now, next thing you want to do is because every single solid is self explanatory, so I'm going to add sound key to the sound key, Alma 3D to the E3D, background to the background. Okay, now select the sound key solid, go to effect, trap code, sound key. Okay, now select the music file now then turn off the solid first element 3d solid okay now select sound key solid now go to spectrum now smooth it at 100% okay in this way it help us to work with better in the composition okay let's try and preview this first so as you can see we have uh, uh, beats in this area so sound key is pretty much useful uh, useful plugin by trap code and what it does it allow us to isolate specific area of the music uh, if you want to isolate some drums or beats or you can have you have to find where it is and then you can isolate it okay so in this example I'm going to isolate my music right about here I already tested it out okay and then I'm going to range one fall off I'm going to change it to exponential and I'm going to set it about 0 0.2 to second maybe 20 second or 2 second whatever it is this settings looks good for my this composition and output min and max I'm going to set it custom and min value should be 0 and max value should be 100% all right let's go back to element turn it on let's add video copilot element go to scene setup let's here add uh, started package physical go to here because this available for everyone which is free now i'm going to select this rock underscore zero two okay now I'm going to duplicate it let's rename it I'm going to call it audio now click OK okay leave it as it is now create another group folder I'm going to move this into this group folder I'm going to separate this group all right now as you can see we have two groups now in the second group and we have to put this into the second group so select this audio rock now go to surface option and change from model to dynamic okay now go to transform and as you can see here the scale is 20 and we have to decrease the scale of this rock about uh, 18 okay now click 
OK, as you can see here, we have this rock. So let's move on. Now open the group one and uh, particle looks and deform, enable it and open the noise, enable it as well. Okay, let's turn off the sound key first. Okay, go back to element. As you can see, if we increase this, it start distorting or something like that. All right. So here, let's go to the wall transform, scale this up, everything about right about here. Now here, let's increase the scale about uh, 250. Open the advance exponent one to two. Now we have to change the intensity about hundred. When we increase it 100 as you can see now it distorting this rock okay let's create a camera control shift alt c 28 mm looks good click ok now press c to toggle between these camera options you can rotate it okay let's add a background i'm going to type ramp gradient ramp drag and drop to the bg and uh, change the color this blue and uh, linear to radial and put this right up in the middle this point and uh, this point goes down something like that all right now swipe the color right up to 100 percent all right now we have nice background so next thing we want to do go to the element 3d layer and here make sure your intensity is 100 percent and the sound key your max value is 100 percent as well because both value must be the same for good result now select the sound key and uh, click apply here it calculating the frames all right it done now select the sound key and press U and uh, all the keyframes has been revealed. Okay, let's go back to element 3D and alt click to the noise where it is. Here it, here it is. Alt click to the noise and pick whip to the sound key at the very bottom. Output one and let go. Okay, let's see the magic. If I ram preview this, all right, guys, as you can see, now we have this element 3D effect with the sound. Okay, let's make it more interesting. Now go back to element 3D, go to the wall transform, go to the very first keyframe, open the wall rotation enable all the keyframes go to the last keyframe now type 8 8 8 okay now go to the deformer tab noise advance and then evolution click the evolution at the very first and then go to the last keyframe and set it to 20. Now, if I ram preview this, all right, guys, as you can see, now it's much better than before. Okay, let's make more better. So, I'm going to create a null object, make it 3D, pan the camera to the null open the scale now select the sound key go to range 2 enable it i'm going to turn on the sound key layer again now here we have the range 2 all right so basically we are going to reposition it exact to the range 1 position so i'm going to copy the range 1 data to the range 2 
copy paste copy paste control C control V control C control V all right now change the setting to exponential custom so here is the trick we have to make sure that how much scale we want to move with the audio let's say if we want this rock to comes about this size and then we have to set the max value about 65 and then if we want it to be 70 let's say and then we have to change the max value of this to 70 okay let's type 70 min value we have to type 100 okay 100 to 70 because at the at the very first keyframe it was 100 and then we have to move the scale to the 17 okay make sure that now go back to sound key and generate the keyframes of the range second or in the range one it will auto replace the keyframes so don't worry about that now select the sound key press u now we have both keyframes okay now go to the null object alt click to the scale select pick fib and put it to the output 2 and let go all right now i'm turn off the scale of this sound key let's ramp preview this all right guys as you can see now we have much more interesting effect in element 3d so that's it guys i think we have done everything but you can come up with your own settings so this is the basic of element 3d how can you move your element 3d with music all right guys that's the end of this video i hope you really enjoy today's video if you really enjoyed it if you learned something from this video please don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you can find me on facebook twitter instagram and uh, google plus okay i'll see you guys in next video bye bye